as far as movements go, I don't care what you choose. Make sure that your movement selection or your movement menu is balanced for the most part. Okay. Make sure your your training movements well and make sure you can coach it. The most butchered exercise is obviously the squat. I mean, the power cleans up there. I've seen some really bad ones, <laughs> really, 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 really bad ones. But the squat is what really gets everybody gets hung up on. You know, it's the king, right? Squat max day. Everybody loves it. But that post that you saw, right? I also made a post earlier about like evaluating leg strength yeah. um, not too long ago. That remember this. Remember where you place your value is where your kids are going to be attracted to. And if all you value for leg strength is max day, I'm putting all my eggs in my basket of whose maxes are higher. Those are the strong guys. That's who we need to win. The natural gradient, you're going to be literally magnetic to doing things in order to see your one rep max go up. Well, the easiest way to up your one rep max is to shorten your range of max. <laughs> so you're yeah. going to find the kids are going to find that yeah. fine line. Coach, coach that counted, right? Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. go lower than I have to. If coach says I don't have to, cause I want to be up on that board. I want to please my coach. Yeah. Right. So, all right. Well, if that's the case, like, is it, is the squat actually about trying to increase, you know, leg strength? Cause it's shown and proven that if you can use more range of motion, you're going to stimulate the whole muscle a whole lot more and gain strength by training it that way, rather than just showing me how good of a barbell lifter you 